Hey, what's up, guys? Robert here coming at you with Photoshop CS6 Beta. It's available at the first link in the description below, which will take you straight to this web page that you see here where you can download it for both Mac and Windows absolutely free. You can try it out. It's the beta version. So let's open it up, see what it looks like. This is Photoshop CS6. You'll first notice it's a whole new user interface. The colors are a little darker. N nothing really changed about it. it. Everything's still in the in the location that I'm used to them being, which is great because I wouldn't want them to be changed around. I don't want them moving things around on me. But uh, you know, adding some more features that's that's nice. That's okay. That's okay. I actually kind of like the darker color. It reminds me of Photoshop Elements. You know how it's a little darker. So that's nice. And if you like the older color scheme, the brighter one, you can all always change it back to that one if you'd like. Uh, so this is pretty nice. I still have to look at it more in depth. I'm not sure. I'm not really familiar with all the new features because I just opened it up for this video. So I'm just looking around. I see some new things. I see some some unfamiliar things here that I'm going to have to play around with. It's going to be fun. And if you'd like to see some of the new features that Photoshop CS6 has to offer, go ahead and click the second link in the description below, which will take you to iceflowstudios.com where he's created or Howard, I should say, has created a post with uh, all the new features in Photoshop CS6. So look at this. User interface has changed. The colors, you can always change that back if you'd like. Uh, we got, what else do we have? Layer filtering, properties panel, patch tool with content aware. I'm going to have to take a look at that. So, you know, see all the new features, play around, work with them. See if, see if maybe, maybe you'll become the next Photoshop user. I actually was not able to get it to install on my Windows machine, but uh, you know, that's all screwy. It, it'll probably work for you. That's why I'm on, on the Mac. And actually, I just thought of something that I want to, I want to, I've always wanted to try. Hey, what's up, guys? Soldier Knows Best here. Today, we're going to be taking a look at this Apple product here. Here's a, the invisible iPhone uh, uh, version uh, 5, the iPhone 5. It's invisible. The iPhone 5, the new iPhone 5, it's invisible now. So, uh, it's got all kinds of new features. Pretty cool. I just ate the iPhone 5. See you later. Peace.